Hello, we're going to make a video and this video will demonstrate how one can run MOBA Xterm and log into one of the Cadence works in CentOS 6 workstations and run Cadence. Okay, in a previous video we installed MOBA Xterm and here's an icon from where we can run MOBA Xterm from and as shown before if you click on the start menu and go down to the M's you can find MOBA Xterm right under there. We're going to run it from the desktop okay and so what we're going to do is we're going to make a session so we're going to click on the session icon here and we're going to click on SSH to create an SSH session <coughs> now uh, let me start a browser up and uh, if you remember if you go to the ECE teaching labs website and if you go to the computing tab and teaching lab Linux platform you'll see the machines that uh, run are running CentOS 6 and uh, are currently running the cadence that's being used uh, for the ECE 361 course. We're going to choose one of these machines here in our setup. So the remote host is going to, I'll use BOLA, B-O-L-L-E dot C-C dot Lehigh dot E-D-U and um, so the uh, we're going to specify a username and we're going to use, I have a test username called ECE Demo you're going to use the username that you were given okay and then what we'll do is we'll click OK to connect one thing before we do that actually since I'm running this from home and I'm not on the Lehigh network I have connected with the Cisco AnyConnect VPN um, and instructions for that are at the software.lehigh.edu page under uh, Cisco AnyConnect okay so I've set this up with the host name and the username and the port 22 that's perfect so we'll go ahead and click OK and it comes up uh, and asks me for a password so we're going to go ahead and type in a password first time I go in it wants to exchange the public half of a secure encryption key uh, next time I log in from this machine with this ID it won't ask me for that uh, that ID and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click cancel here um, I didn't want to put that I that uh, extra password in there okay so here I'm on Bola and if I do an LS I've got some directories there I'm going to do a change directory into my scripts directory and I'm going to source this file uh, IC616 okay then I'll do a change directory go up to the top directory I'll type present working directory I'll type change directory into CMOS edu and here I'm going to type um, virtuoso space and ampersand Now the response time on the graphics is going to be a little bit slower than if you're using some other uh, access methods like uh, X2Go. Okay. for 
the uh, final screen there. I can actually go ahead and Okay, so I'm on a very slow DSL line, so you're going to see some lag uh, if you're on if you're running cable with uh, uh, some good speed. Uh, this is going to work fine. I can actually put this uh, for now. I can put this terminal into the background, and if I want to get it back, I can click on this little icon here. Um, but if I want to get this out the way for working on. Uh, uh, you know, my Cadence stuff, uh, that's a way to put it out the way. So, uh, yeah, that's all there is to uh, starting your uh, MOBA Xterm and logging into um, a machine and running Cadence. Here, I'll go ahead and exit out. Again, if you're running with cable, you're going to have much better, or fiber, uh, you're going to have a much better response time than what I'm seeing here. But this uh, gives you an idea of how to uh, go ahead and run this. And then from the uh, uh, Linux session, it's, an, it's always a good idea to exit out <coughs> so nothing's left hanging. And that's all there is to running MOBA Xterm, connecting to a machine, and then running Cadence. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for listening.